Hey Peter, my name is Devin. I spoke to Ron a little earlier. He's a very kind representation of your company. And in this video, I'm going to show you three things you can do today to help bring in more customers to your business. Most likely you're sitting there asking yourself, why would I be doing this and what's in it for me? And the answer is really simple. Oftentimes in the world of the internet, most local business owners are just too busy running their business to learn how the internet can benefit them and their company. And sometimes the only hesitation they have to hiring somebody is they just don't know who is an expert and who isn't. So I found that by giving people an easy free attack plan of actual things they can do to impact their business for free, it's resulted in some of those local business owners still raising their hand saying, I like you Devin, please do this for me. So if by the end of this video you liked what you've heard, you can see I have a lot of tools and strategies I can help your business with, just shoot me a message back and we can chat. Or if you just want to take this free attack plan and do it yourself, that works for me too. So now let me show you three things that will set your company above your competition and not waste any more of your time or mine. So the first thing I want to go over is content. Your website's a beautiful website. I don't know if it's professionally designed or if you did it yourself, but either way, it looks absolutely great. Uh, I love that you have these like nice little uh, coupons, the guarantees going on here. You've got a lot of videos. It's a beautiful site. Google doesn't really care about the way your website looks though. All they care about is content. And so to be considered an optimized website, you need to have about 1500 words on your front page to be considered an authority. And they think when you have 1500 words, you probably can answer a lot of questions. And if we look how many you have, you currently have, 660 so you're about a third of the way there I would definitely recommend getting yourself up to 1500 words but also by getting yourself to 1500 words it allows you to fit in more keywords keywords are just phrases that people search into Google to find your business and you want to target what's called buyer intent keywords which is just a keyword that someone types in if they're like ready to buy so I can show you some that you're showing up for right now what you're currently ranking for like your top keywords are your name your name star plumber star plumbing star pluming stuff like that these keywords are national keywords they don't have anything to do with like your location somebody there could be you know a hundred five-star plumbings across the United States and you want you could be showing up for all those so it doesn't really matter but like stuff right here like plumbers placerville or plumbing services Sacramento plumber fair Oaks CA plumber Sacramento those are the ones you want to target so if I go to volume and I pick the most valuable ones let's see um, you want to be showing up for like Wow you're not popping up at all Roseville plumber is a good one Roseville plumber 200 people search for that every single month you want to be number one for that you're on the sixth page uh, Folsom plumber 150 people search for that you're on the second page so these are the kind of keywords you want to have on your page and you could stack up a lot of traffic by adding the right keywords on there you can also save your images as keywords too so like I don't know if you can see this image no you can't let's pick another image maybe this one yes yeah, so you could save this as like Roseville plumber to help you rank for that keyword so that's tip number one Tip number two is called backlinks. A backlink is when another website is linking to you, driving traffic to you, and powering you up with what we call link juice. This is important because Google's kind of like a popularity contest. They want to see a lot of websites vouching for you, but keep in mind they do want to see relevant links, which means they like a plumber linking to you is going to give you a lot more power or link juice than like Pizza Hut would because you know you're not slinging pizzas for a living. So. I use a tool to check this out. It's called Ahrefs. It does cost about a thousand bucks a month, but it gives you a lot of really valuable data on what's going on in the back end of websites. So you don't have to use it. There's a bunch of free tools out there, but it says you currently have 85 websites linking to you, which is a great spot to be, especially because the number one guys in Sacramento, Armstrong Plumbing, these guys only have 78. So they're actually behind you a little bit, but they do have some more traffic. So you're probably thinking, what the heck, what gives? One has to come with targeting the correct keywords. But two, also your URL rating is the is the rating or like the power of your homepage, and your domain rating is the power of your whole website. And you want to have these as close to a one to one ratio as possible. And you can see they're a lot closer, thirty three and eighteen versus twenty five and four point four. So they have more powerful links going to them. So I would go to their the back of their page, and I would see all the links they have, and start grabbing them for yourself by either clicking the create an account button or the contact us button once you visit, visit these websites. And the best websites for you to grab are the ones that have to do with what you're offering, like home improvement, local plumbers, USA plumbing, contractors, plumbers, plumbers, builder, stuff like that. If you follow those two tips alone, you're going to pop up in, in this area right here. The last, You see the right behind Yelp, which we don't ever compare ourselves directories. But then number one, this is the organic spot. There's three places you can show up. Organic, ads, or Google My Business. People skip ads all the time, and you're probably wondering, well, how the heck do I end up here? I'm glad you asked. It's really simple. You need to have more citations than your competitors. A citation is anywhere where your name, your address, and your phone number are listed in different directories across the web. If you're wondering what a directory is, it's just a website that allows you to list your business's information. So, like Yelp, Yext, Yellow Pages, White Pages, City Star, even Facebook is a directory nowadays. 
My favorite strategy here is to figure out what directories the top guys were listed in, list myself in those same ones, and add a bunch more on top. So if Mr. Reuter was in 150 directories, I'd be putting myself in 250, if not 300. That's all I've got for you, Peter. Hope you found this really informative. I try to keep it short and sweet, but also you know be really helpful for you. In closing, once again, we went over content. You need about 1,500 words on this front page at a minimum. Link juice, um, you're doing great with the amount of links you have, but I would still get some more because they have more powerful ones. So I would just blow them out of the water and go get yourself to like a total of 100 and just copy their best ones. And then citations, you're going to want to have 200 to 300 of these to beat out the competition by a landslide. And Peter, if you implement these strategies today, you can be number one across Google. So I bet you're wondering what now? Well, you can either go with this information I provided you today and do this on your own, and I'm totally cool with that. I just ask you to send me back a little bit of feedback so I can make these free videos better in the future. If you just want to save yourself the time or if you have any questions, you can always give me a call at 805-618-6426. Once again, my name is Devin Norton, and my number is 805-618-6426. I look forward to hearing from you, Peter. Have a great one.